Welcome to Real Life Reviews and for this video we've got our hands on the stunning Roka Maverick X wetsuit. Oh yeah, it's stunning and it's stunning in more ways than one. There's some thumbs up and there's some not so thumbs up. So let's take a closer look at the wetsuit just over here. Let's begin by just eyeballing the suit and what it looks like. And it does look striking and smart. Roka have done a really good job with simplistic but bright and eye-catching artwork on it. The colour, the uh, Roka call it magenta, it's a nice bright orange and if you're looking out for someone wearing this suit, the suit does stand out, there is no doubt about that. Now whilst aesthetics are good and we all like things that look good, that's not, I hope, the main reason why we triathletes and open water swimmers are going to buy a wetsuit. We're going to buy a wetsuit because it's efficient in the water, it gives us the right buoyancy, it's comfortable and we'd like to think it's giving us a slight advantage over one or two other people because we've got an efficient suit for us. So what's the big shift in thinking that makes this suit stand out from the others? Well what Roker have done, and I'm not really sure why someone hasn't thought of this before, is they designed and built their wetsuit in what's termed the arms up position. That's to say that the natural hand cut and fit of this suit is with the arms in the upward position. Completely the opposite to how your shirt or your jumper is if it's hanging on a hanger in your wardrobe. What does this actually mean though for you as a swimmer? Well, Roka focus on that the recovery has less resistance in it, it returns you, it's more natural to get into the right position to enter the water, therefore you're using less energy in the recovery and you're finding it easier to get into the correct position at the head of your stroke. I would go a step further because by having less resistance and using less energy, you're actually speeding your stroke up slightly. And then what's happening, because you're in symmetry and when you've got one arm recovering, you've got another on its pull, what's happening is you're speeding up. And I can, I can tell you with pool swims, open water swims, and that includes the 2.4 miles of the UK Ironman this year, my every single swim, when the numbers are on my Garmin Connect, I am one stroke per minute quicker. It, it's not a fix, but it doesn't matter what the environment has been. And then if I compare environments, consequently, I'm getting quicker times. Now, it's not massive, and obviously it's proportional to how quick a swimmer you are in the first place. If I extrapolate my results, if you are a one hour 30 Ironman swimmer, I would reckon you would be seeing in the region of maybe four minutes difference and proportionate around there. So an hour 10 Ironman swim between two and three minutes quicker is now becoming an hour seven, which is giving you buffer time and potentially you could work a little slower and save energy. Perhaps next in, in my locker as to why I like the Roker and what the Roker is doing for me is the buoyancy balance within this suit. It's along the same lines as a number of other suits that's working on the 3-5 principle. That's to say that hips and legs 5mm and the core is 3. Roker I think does this better. There is no doubt that if I go into a Hub Archimedes 2, 3.5 and then wear the Roker, the Roker gives me more buoyancy in the lower part of the body. That might be helped by the fact that the arms in particular are one and a half millimetre, which again helps in the lack of resistance in the arm recovery. They're very, very flexible. But this is a what I would term a buoyancy support suit and if you are a sinky leg swimmer then this really is a very good suit for you. Roka also talk about what they've done in terms of putting this suit together 
and that their technology of what they term blind stitching and gluing has enabled them to shape panels and areas of this suit to make it much more natural for you to wear. Uh, I can't guarantee this and I can't necessarily support that except to say it is incredibly comfortable to wear. Something must be right. In addition to that, Roka have very definitely beefed up the zip base area, somewhere that in many suits gets a lot of strain, or in all suits gets a lot of strain, and in many suits you get sight of that, but also it's strengthened and beefed up the calf release and ankle area to be much stronger. You don't want to be paying a fortune out on a really good swimming wetsuit to find that three triathlons in, in getting the suit off in transition where you're always going to be a little bit hasty, however much time you spend putting the suit on, and you're putting your heel through parts of the, the lower leg or something. So from that point of view, there is a big thumbs up from us here. The suit feels well made and strong. And I would, in comparison, and if I compare to our benchmarker, the Hoob Archimedes 2, it feels better made than the Hoob. Having said that, I have no problems with the Hoob that I've been swimming in. So that's not a knock on the Hoob, it's simply a comment that the Roka does feel well made. In addition to this, the neck panelling of the Roka is designed and stitched independently and it has led to a very, very comfortable fit. Again, worn this for significant swims at a time, I've worn this for a swim taking over an hour and a half and had no chafing or neck problems whatsoever. So certainly Roka have achieved serious comfort there. Then we come to the forearm. Now, as is the case with a number of wetsuits now, there is a forearm panel. It is textile. It's very good quality, having worn a number of wetsuits with forearm panels. And what pleases me is that Roka don't call this a pulling panel. I'm yet to really see evidence of a pulling panel that does give you real improvement. What this does do is it, it increases the feel, your proprioception of what's going on. So within the swim, you can actually feel the water against your forearm and help position to gain that resistance and pull the water back. It's got to be good. Having said that, if you do read deep into Roka's uh, literature, they will talk about hydrodynamics, which is kind of saying, yeah, it's designed to improve the pull. So there we go. What I would say is it does help your feel, you get a really good feel, and proprioceptively, it's a great, it's a big addition. I like it. Throughout this suit, Roka use 100% SCS coated Yamamoto neoprene, which according to all manufacturers is the world's best nano coated limestone based neoprene. So 100% for top quality neoprene in the suit. Hopefully you can read that there. Uh, Roka use what they call their RSX technology and that's part of their core stability, getting your body in the right position and assistance with the right thickness of neoprene, uh, uh, keeping your core stable. So full marks on the actual making of this suit. Sizing for this suit? Well, Roka have a really good sizing chart on their website and my experience of it is it's, it's accurate. There are nine sizes of suit for men, and for ladies, there are 13. So, male and female, you're very well catered for, and you'll find a suit that fits you. And now we come to a slightly thorny issue. Is this Roka the best wetsuit I've ever worn for open water swimming? No doubt. Yes it is. No question. Would I buy this wetsuit or could I recommend to the average triathlete to buy this wetsuit? No I can't. And I'm sorry Roka, but value for money, this is one heck of an expensive wetsuit. 
It's $900 US price, so around about the £750-£760 pounds sterling. Yes, it shipped free, and then you get hit with customs, import duty. Currently, £266.17. pence. I know, because I paid it. So, you are looking at a wetsuit that costs you over a thousand pounds. Now, I can't sit here and honestly recommend that for value compared to something like this. Now, this is a Hub Archimedes 2, currently selling at 550 on the Hub website. Uh, sorry, Hub, 549.99. Now, Hub also have the Albacore, which is £100 more expensive, and they also have the Aureus, which is £100 cheaper. So you can pick your, your, your price point, really. Um, I love the Archimedes 2. Will I wear the Archimedes 2 in competition? No, because I've actually got a Roka here. Thank you very much. But I can't... Honestly, if you haven't got the money falling out of your pockets, I can't recommend you buy it. Yes, this is, without doubt, the best wetsuit I have ever worn. And it's the quickest, and it's the most comfortable. I would buy one of these, though. If it was my money, I'd buy one. Thanks for watching, and if you've enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you want to invest in some more of your triathlon kit, then do head towards our website where we've got links to various shops and you can get some really good deals. If you haven't subscribed to the site, then by all means, up there, subscribe. And if you want to have a little look at our video on the Hoob Archimedes 2, then click up there and watch that video. Thanks again for watching.